we barely made it to the hospital. She wanted to come right now. <laughs> she was eight pounds, four ounces, and 20 inches. She was a big girl. <laughs> come on, Bella, you big girl. I get out next month. I plan on taking schooling to be a drug and alcohol counselor. So that's something I have a passion for and I think that I have enough experience to be able to help another addict out there. One way we're really different from other countries is in that whole piece of incarcerating women with young children. My counselor just told me today that um, I'm welcome to call her anytime because I leave in 12 days. A couple weeks ago, I was asking if I could stay here, and they're like, no, you can't stay here. I'm like, but I think I got this. Prisons have become part of the social safety net in our country. We had an officer by the name of, his last name was Kukoi, and he was from Africa. He said something to me at one point that stuck with me, and I think about it often, and he said, you know, where I come from in Africa, if we would have someone who would end up having to go to prison, we considered it our failure. If we're going to address mass incarceration, we have to rewind things and, and really look at our public uh, institutions and, and our social programs to help people.